Hi, I'm Coach JFK of NSA Hockey, and today's Tech Tip Thursday is how to create space with puck protection. Now in this tech tip, it's great for forwards, it's great for defensemen, pretty much any player, almost anywhere on the ice. But specifically, we're gonna be talking about corner play. Now a lot of the times when I see players in practice, sometimes they go through the motions because we're not thinking that we're in a game-like situation. So I'm gonna show you guys what I teach my players all the time and how it translates for them in games. Alrighty, now as a coach, I'm gonna paint the scenario for you. I'm the offensive player, I have with me Ethan Hawes as my defenseman, and I'm in my offensive corner, okay? I'm trying to shoot on the net there, but I'm also protecting the puck from this defenseman. Now, a lot of the times when players carry the puck, they carry it right out here. If I carry this puck inside my body frame, it's easy for Ethan to get that puck and take it away. So what I wanna start thinking is when I get this puck, I immediately wanna get it to the outside of my body. And when I say outside, that means outside my leg. Get it to the outside. This way it creates more separation from my defender. Now, as I'm going up the wall and I'm protecting it here, crossing over, I don't wanna just go up the wall. I'm going to start forcing myself to the middle of the ice. So we're gonna come right back down here. And what we're gonna focus on is I'm gonna get this puck to the outside and I'm gonna push him to the middle. So I get this puck here. I push, push, push. Now I can cut back. The reason I push to the middle is because I create more time and space for myself along the wall. Now, if I were to carry the puck up the wall, Ethan's on me, I have it protected here, and then I try to do a cutback, well, yeah, I may be able to get one, but if Ethan stays on me like a good defenseman should do, now I'm gonna start running out of space and I don't know what I can do with the puck. By me pushing towards the middle each time, I'm gonna create time and space. And that is what we want as a player. So we're gonna go at a little bit higher intensity so you can see what that looks like. Alrighty, now everything we just went over is great for any hockey player at any level. Now when you start getting to the higher levels and when there's contact involved with the game, what we're gonna show you is another thing that you can do to create more time and space. So just like we talked about, I have this puck to the outside, I'm pushing, but don't be afraid to give an extra shoulder, then cut back. And then I get to here, bump in to create more space. Alrighty players, so there you go. That's how you can create more time and space for you when you have the puck. So remember, first, carry the puck to the outside of your body. Second, push towards the middle. Then third, cut to the space that you created along the wall. And make sure you repeat that coming up through on the other side. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. I'm Coach JFK of NSA Hockey. Make sure you hit that like button, share it, but more importantly, get on the ice and try this out. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.